Good morning. Whoa. Good morning. Hey. Oh, good morning. Don't you just love waking up in the hotel? <laughs> Think you are a blues brother? I'm a blues brother. <laughs> Were you gonna say that? I was, yeah. <laughs> and my Christmas pants, walking home with these on. And what's your shirt? Star Wars, what Disney, the life. Judged. I love when I wear my hair like this because James always looks at my bun like like he can understand that it's silly. And he's like, what do you got on the top of your head? Peter's secret. <laughs> how he gets, how he wakes himself up. <laughs> We're out of here. We're Thank you, Hotel out. Versi. Yes. Another great stay. Great time staying like locals. Mm -hmm. <laughs> James agrees. This James, was his first time. That was his first time and first time in a Chicago hotel. Ooh. Ooh. He absolutely loved it. <laughs> hectic since we got home because like we haven't seen Eve, we have to unpack, Sarah started the vlog, I'm gonna give James a bath, we have to take, or Sarah's gonna take a bath, we have to get like ready and to go to her mom's house because it's Sunday, but the hectic has just kind of turned around because this package right here just arrived, oh, Eve's coming to investigate, we're gonna open up the DJI. Ooh. Did you show that it arrived? I showed it arrived. I didn't open it. Though. Come on, wait for you. Okay. Oh. So, Fancy bag. This is the fly more combo, so that it comes with the bag that holds everything. Fancy. Fancy. All right, so Sarah opened up the package. There it is. That's the drone. This is it. That's it. Oh, snappage. Yeah, so that comes off. That's new to like this model. It's a propeller like holder to keep the propellers from like freaking out. I have out. no idea. I've never even... I'm assuming the still thing comes off? Yeah, I think that's just a temporary holder. Wow. James boy says, let me play with the drone. drone. Out at me. All right, so how this works is these front wings fold out. Okay. And then these bottom wings fold under. Okay. And then you have to take the uh, the gimbal holder off. And that's what it's a three axis gimbal for the 4K camera. Wow. And so now it's I just love when you first open up peel. technology and it's just like so fresh. So now it's ready to uh, fly. And uh, fly. Here's the, the controller. Oh. So the cell phone attaches to this. Cool. And there's a cord that's tucked away in there. And then the joysticks. They're on the bottom and then you put them in here. You've been watching YouTube videos, haven't you? Yes, I have. And then you can... Oh, this feels so nice. And the coolest thing... You wanted thing... a drone for so long. Years. The coolest thing about the Fly More package, because it's an extra hundred bucks, is, um, is this right here. What is so that? So if you buy just the drone, you get just the drone on the controller and one battery. If you buy the Fly More, you get the bag and everything, and then two additional batteries. That's nice. In this dock. So then 
You can just plug the drone in and charge the battery here in it, or you can charge the dock in. Cool. All right, now we, we'll play with all this later. We have to give this little boy bath and get to Get the vlog situated, and Peter's gonna run casually 20 miles. Are you ready for a bath? <laughs> He's been doing a lot of growling these days. Wow. Is it later than expected? Yes. I mean, that's too bad, though. No, it's still morning. It's it is. Morning. It is. For how much longer? Seven minutes. Seven minutes. This baby nuked down himself, so he's got to get a new outfit. Um, I'm ready. I'm all ready to go. Using my belt today to hold my goose and my phone because I busted that armband. I have so many liquids, creams, gels, lubricants all over my body right now. Sunblock. Body Glide, Glycerin, Deodorant. Um, 20 miles. Here we go for 20 miles. But like, I feel like the last time I ran the 22, I hadn't, I'd only been like two weeks in and I've been like more consistently keeping the, even like the midweek, like my midweek runs are lowest eight to 10 miles now. So like, I already, even though I haven't run in two days, like last night in at the hotel, I was like stretching my legs out and I could feel the soreness in my calves still, so. We're gonna do it like uh, two weeks ago. We're just gonna be, we're gonna knock it out. The time on the feet is the important part, not speed or anything. So I'm gonna do a similar route. And then when I get to Sarah's mom's, shower up and have some fun at the drone. There's literally like one cloud in the sky, which is a bittersweet thing considering the sun's right there going out right at noon. So, so it'll be good. It is sunny, but so far, there's been a decent, consistent-esque wind um, that has helped keep the body temperature and therefore the heart rate down. But I'm over at UIC's campus, walking through, so I decided, like, I did a good job of, like, I didn't vlog and I didn't take any walking breaks. I got really lucky with all the lights coming down here, so we're at about the five and a half mile mark. Um, gonna walk through this campus to the other side where I popped out a couple the other week. Now I'll start running that. I don't think, I don't want to call there being water fountains outside here, but that would be great. Alrighty, while well, daddy runs to the south side, we are driving. It is just after one o'clock. So we have the entire afternoon ahead of us to play. And I think we're gonna grill again for dinner tonight. We are so excited to get to grandma's. We have not seen our cousins, our aunt Christina and uncle Grant, in over a week. People have their boats out. One of the best things in the entire world is cruising down Lakeshore Drive, blasting your music, windows open this time of year. So I think me and Jamesy are just gonna have to have a Hamilton jam session. I stopped at Walgreens again for some water and chips. But on these long runs, now that we're getting up up there, an important piece when it comes to running is to get used to hydrating and eating during these runs to get your body used to how that how it interprets and processes all that food while you're just shaking it all up. But I think I didn't do a good enough job eating this morning because I think I went from too little food and water in my system to too much supposed to start running again. My son McGarty is starting to hurt a little bit. That's when you go to the like ultra length runs and trains, that's part of the training. It's not just getting time on your feet, it's getting stuff like all part of the lesson. I've also had zero shade this entire time. Uh, but I did something. Like it's just a different kind of environment which is fun. Christina and I brought the kids to the park. But Jamesy boy fell asleep on the way here. Look at you go, bees! Oh, well, yeah. The heat got the best of me. I overheated and dehydrated on my run. I pretty much gave up a little over mile 18. I walked the last of the ninth, or a little over the 19th, and I finished. 
the 19th mile walking home. Got my hips and showered, cooled off, got on some hydration. Now I'm gonna go try to find them at the park. I figure, let's not overdo it. Let's see if there's a bike in the garage. And I found one, so I took it. <laughs> Look who joined us. Oh, hello. He rode this bike. Is that Gigi's bike? <laughs> I think that's my grandma's bike. <laughs> Fresh market to get dinner fixings before we start grilling because it's so nice out. We're doing the grill again. I literally just lost my mind. It's fresh market. Be bad. I'm buying four. Never mind, they were just tucked away in here without any label, so I bought them out. All six. Alright, I had to call us there to get some verification on some stuff, but we got some hot dogs for the kids. Some sauerkraut, Christina and me were vibing on that. We've got the brats for the meat eaters. We're doing these tofurkey plant-based beer brats. I haven't told Sarah yet about the uh, be bad, but it literally is making my weekend. I want to reiterate, I'm at a Pete's Fresh Market. If you have one near you, go and see if they've got be bad. It looks like they may have only gotten a single six pack from the distributor, but that means that they were able to buy it. Now we've got the plate full of brats plant-based brats and hot dogs, but more importantly, Jamesy boy is gonna grill with me. Think of being the best helper. Jamesy says, and away we go. What did you say? What did you say? <laughs> <laughs> Do you like grilling? I'm just making you some mashed blueberries right now. That'll be a first. Oh. Alright, the dogs look pretty much perfect. One more little side on these brats, and I think they'll be done. And honestly, the plant based um, beer brats were done like after four minutes. They're, they just have to heat them up really and get them some char, so I'm working on that. Oh, yeah? Did you like grilling? Yeah. Oh, gosh. Mr. Julie Kins himself. And here's the finished plate of of meat. That fake meat right there looks like a tail. Jamesy's food is not quite appetizing, but it's delicious. It's blueberries with cinnamon. Got my brats going. We got sauerkraut. I made some pierogies, but they got a little bit too mashed up, but they're gonna taste good for the fan. Look at what Christina got us. It's cold because it's ice cream. What is it called again? Mengoñada. Okay. From La Michoacana. Delicious. We're home. We're finally sitting outside our back door. We accomplished one of Sarah's dreams. We're trying to get Eve used to it because, like, she's got, we're giving her enough freedom to check out the stairs up and down, but not enough to tell her that she can roam free because she can't because there's like a basement down and we don't want her to go down there. Yeah. And she's very curious. We just need her to eventually get used to it and then relax. Check it out. She finally succumbed. I'm sure this only lasts about a minute, if that. But who knows? She's just relaxing now. It's Sarah's feet. So, we will not be playing with the drone today. I want to talk about it. The sun went down. <laughs> I really wanted to, but it just never worked out with timing. Should I get my Epcot tattoo really soon? Yeah. Right here. You want it for this your seems... Father's Day gift? But we have to get it before. Yeah. <sighs> that sounds great. Fun fact, it is the 1st of May. So you get two messages. The long one by Ralph, Ralph Waldo Emerson. Finish, finish each day and be done with it. You have done what you could. Some blunders and absurdities no doubt crept in. Forget them as soon as you can. Tomorrow is a new day. Begin it well and serenely and with too high a spirit to be encumbered with your old nonsense. I love that, Emerson. Oh, and this is a shorty but a good one by St. Augustine. Love is the beauty of the soul. Before you're like, I sign off. I had so much sun today that I actually have 
a suntan from admin. So that's awesome. <laughs> I don't want Monday. Mm -hmm. The beginning of the month. All right, yeah, business day one. So I'm just gonna be doing reports all day. Mm -hmm. But our baby is six months old. That's insane. It's one of so cool, big. which I didn't point out yesterday, was that like my half birthday month is his half birthday month. Oh. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.